Hi, everyone. Welcome back here to the Bison Video Blog. North Dakota State will play in the Summit League Tournament Championship game for a fifth consecutive year. An impressive 89-79 win over South Dakota State. Final score not indicative. The Bison were up 21 here with four minutes to go in this basketball game. Jeffrey, this was a dominant effort by the Bison here tonight. Uh, as beatdown? Yeah, that, I, that's I, that, appropriate. That, I, I think yeah. that qualifies, and especially when you consider the environment here Holy cow. of such a hostile place, and to come in and, and do what they did and, you know, with a young team, I don't know if you can say they're really that young anymore no. at this time of the year, but um, I, I'm not saying I was shocked or anything, but I was a mildly surprised, I would think. I, I, would, I would go with shock. I, you would I, go with shock. With NDSU yeah. up 20 on South Dakota State, I, that would be a thing I yeah, did not I, see in the realm well, of at that point. Yeah, 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 I, I would not yeah. have been shocked if NDSU won not by winning, three no. or something, yes, but would, when they just dropped the hammer yeah. and got up by 21 with whatever, yeah. six minutes left right. or whatever it was, I went, wow. And I turned to Jeff and said, this is a beat down yep. right now this yep. is not even close that was a dominant and another we said sensational for grant nelson i'm running out of superlatives mike at one point in the game he had more rebounds than the entire jack yeah. team yeah he has really the last I and mean, we said it again last night yeah. you know we said we're kind of waiting early in the year going you know when's the dominant performances coming the last couple nights have been dominant <laughs> yeah. performances from grant nelson yep. Tonight was just unbeatable. He had nine rebounds within the first 10 minutes of the game. game. He yep. had nine rebounds yep. before those 10 minutes gone. And he was scoring uh, from inside. He hit a couple, he hit a three, and just dominating yeah. the glass. And South Dakota State had no answer yep. for him. They tried early on to, to single him and not double him. And Grant got around and just yep. was scoring at will that, in the middle. Right. And it just, he, he's changed the games now. You're seeing. The opponents don't have an answer for him no. when he gets going, and he's changed the games. You look at him now and go, "Okay, th yeah. this is what the hype is about. This is what this is why NBA people are going. Oh my goodness gracious, this guy's the next thing." We mentioned last night that to Javis Miller was the freshman that stepped up tonight. Jeff, it was Damari Wheeler Thomas, 17 points. That floater was going tonight. He was excellent for the Bison. Yeah, what did we say on your show this morning? <laughs> we need there, there no, needs yep. to be somebody yep. like. Maybe Damari Wheeler yep. Thomas today to come up with what seven and nine shooting. Yeah. That was my what, what was yeah. he today? I, I, he was well sixteen points. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I thought the way he controlled seven of ten. Yeah, pretty close. Was, <laughs> pretty close. <there>. Nostradamus. <laughs> but I thought more than that. I thought the way he controlled the pace, mm. the tempo, his demeanor, his his body language, I thought was not true freshman. Like certainly no deer in the headlights no. like we've seen from some players he, in this tournament. He also he, guarded Zeke yeah, he Mayo. Yeah. Yeah. Mayo. And, 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 and Mayo never got no, going. No. I mean, he scored some points, yep. but he never got going. No. Didn't find his stroke early on, and that made a difference as NDSU kind of you know was ahead by six at halftime, was able to stretch it. Just that, that was the game that they yeah. needed out of out of their point guard, and that's, you saw why Dave Richmond loves the kid so much, and that you see what the future might be. They also needed a big game from Andrew Morgan. He had that in the game in Fargo. Yep. He was early on. He was unstoppable down again. Low. Again, second straight game that he has yeah. been engaged, yes. and he's got the mullet going. Yeah, uh, it, it's it, and he was just unstoppable yeah. down low. And they again, South Coast State tried at times to single him. You can't single guard him. They no. did Detlinger and. And Kyle, we're getting in foul and trouble in the first half. Yep. yep, just I mean, just just terrific game by Andrew Morgan. Boy, they were really, really impressive. And we got to mention Jamestown's Bowden Scunberg for yeah. again knocking down three after three. I mean, they left him open, Jeff, and he buried him. And I thought Bowden and I, I thought Grant Nelson actually put the dagger in. About yeah, eight minutes left in the game three, when they had those yep. threes. Yep, and put him up. Grant's put him up twenty-one, yep. and I thought, okay, game over. Yeah, I mean, Scunberg has just been again. He got honorable mention. I voted him for all second team. I think he was, I don't know if I was a personal thing, but certainly he is pro, pro played here like an all conference player. He has, uh, he has some onions, as Bill Raftery yeah. would say. Yeah. Both him and Wheeler Thompson yes. showed that they got some yep. stones, man. I mean, Bowden Scunberg, he's not afraid to shoot the ball. He's not afraid yep. to take the ball to the basket. He's not afraid to take a three. He plays defense. But man, him yeah. and Wheeler Thomas, when they needed a bucket, when they needed a big play, those two guys delivered, and that's. Again, it's a reflection of the head coach. We have all taken our cracks at Dave Richmond, especially after the Western Illinois. What I, I'm not going to apologize. Yeah, nope. He's not going to apologize. Nope. I'm not going to apologize <laughs> for my reaction yep. to him not apologizing. <laughs> I, I thought it was a little over the top with what he did yeah. publicly after the Western Illinois game. But this team reflects his toughness, you yes. know, his demeanor. And you got to give Dave Richmond credit, uh, and you have the stats. Eighteen and five now in Sioux it, yep. Falls as head coach. Yep, there's Ooh, no argument. There's no argument with that. I'll, yep. I'll throw up a couple other perspective here because I want your takes each on this. NDSU now, 
10 times, Jeff, they have reached the Summit League Tournament Championship game in 16 years as a league member. Uh, all the talk on the outside for people of oh, Fargo, it's a football school. There's th This is proof in the pudding how good they are in men's basketball. Yeah, going for its sixth NCAA appearance, yeah. although it would be five technically because one was uh, done with COVID. But going for six times yeah. in the NCAA tournament. And remember, you go back to the Division One transition days when – when Tim Miles was trying to codger a schedule. He thought he was going to get fired. Yeah. Tim, Tim yeah. Miles said, I'm going to get fired yeah. because yeah. of this transition. And you thought maybe if they could get to the big dance once, once. in 10, yeah. 20 years, yeah. right? Yeah. You're thinking just maybe, just maybe, and and look what's happened. It's a basketball school. Yeah. I've been yeah. still I've been a football school. This, I've been beating this drum for 10 years. It's a basketball it's school football as well. School. Yeah. Mike. It can't. It can be both. Two things can be true. I think that's the well, that's the narrative here. That then how come a thousand people right, show up at home right, games then? Right. And, and barely anybody was here right. tonight. I don't, there's, I don't there's, think there's, there's going to be any seventy-five from, people here right, tonight from, I don't think from Fargo. Any groves that are going to come down tomorrow night. But to that point, five years in a row now yes. they are playing in the Summit League tournament. And, and again, game. Dave Richmond, seven in nine years, they're yeah. playing for the the, the Summit uh, League championship yeah. game. I mean, I, he's got the secret yep. sauce. He's got the formula: defense, toughness, rebounding. Oh, it's not secret. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's, it's nobody else can figure it out, though. And and he was so happy after tonight's game. He, did make a joke. <laughs> he made a funny. He did make a joke. He, yes. he was Shecky yes. Green, <laughs> Dave Rodney Dangerfield Richmond up there. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I, I I ripped into my team, guys. I, oh, it's a joke. Yeah, hey, come yeah, on. It was a joke. That was entertaining on that. All right, so it's Oral Roberts. The Golden Eagles got pushed here, gentlemen, earlier tonight by St. Thomas. They ended up making shots and, and pulled away to win the game. The game in Tulsa a couple weeks ago, the Bison got that within three and yeah. then just couldn't get over the hump. What do we make of this for round three tomorrow well, night? Well, this is what's going to happen is there's going to be there, – there won't be a full house no, tomorrow night, no. but there will be 7,000, 6,000, 5,000 Jackrabbit fans here. And maybe Cheer for the first time in their lives, the <laughs> they're going to be cheering for the team yeah, in green and, yeah, and gold because yeah. uh, they ain't cheering for Paul Mills. No, They'll not cheering no. for him. And so the Bison will have a home crowd yeah. tomorrow night, and uh, I think it's going to be a heck of an atmosphere. But it's going to be a challenge oh. for NDSU. I mean, uh, they're good. You know, Connor Vanover is huge. Max Aismas can shoot the ball. Uh, McBride. Uh, Mc Shane Isaac Weaver. McBride can shoot the ball. Yeah. They're just a deep yeah. veteran team. Um, but NDSU... They play defense, and they're looking. You know, Grant Nelson's awfully good. Oh, Andrew Morgan's awfully, awfully good. They have good. the size to match yes. up, maybe, with Oral Roberts. Second time in three years, Jeff, they play in the championship game. You'll remember two years ago, Oral Roberts was at the up 27, 25 yes. at halftime, and the Bison actually got that game all the way tied before Oral Roberts pulled it out at the end. That was the game at the Pentagon yes. during, the, during yeah. the COVID era. It was it's a different. lonely game to yeah, cover. Yeah. There's no, yeah. nobody <laughs> there, man. 50 people there, yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly I think it's a toss-up, the way these teams are playing yeah. right now and the way NDSU can play Oral Roberts. Yeah. Oral Roberts didn't really knock anybody's socks off today against no. St. Thomas. So I think they're the better team, Oral Roberts. But who's playing? I think NDSU's playing better than they have. Seven, Bison are playing with seven, house money right now. Right Bison, right now. All, all the pressure's on yeah. Oral Roberts to it complete is. the, the 20 this and thing. 20-0. Yeah. 20 and 0 gets, gets, gets the summit this year. It, because if they, if they lose, they are not going to the NCAA tournament. Oh, I don't know, I don't know about that. You, really? You disagree? Yeah. Now you disagree. Now, you, last, last week I asked you that. I said, no way. It's a one-bid league. I could change my mind. <laughs> You believe that though, if they lose, tomorrow, I think I think they'll be in consideration. If, I think okay. by, I think by getting to the championship game, okay. somebody in the committee room will say, Stop. "What about Oral, Oral Roberts? Roberts?" Twenty, right. it'd be four or five losses. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, just real quick, we wrap it up. NDSU was three and eleven right before New Year's. They are sixteen and sixteen now. I know Dave. It's going to say, "Well, we didn't come here to beat 500. Yeah. That still is pretty impressive. To me. It is. It is. And 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 again, rem before the season, when I talked to to Richmond. He said yeah. the early part of the season could Pretty be rough. ugly. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. literally said we could be 3-11 and 11 at the end of the non-conference <laughs> season. They were 3-11 and 11 or whatever it was at the end of the first week of the, the Summit League, League season. season. Yeah. And he said by, by the end of the year, we should be all right. And they're all they're, 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 they're all right. They're doing all right. They're they all right. Chip in a chair to get a chance to yep. play for the Summit League Tournament Championship coming up tomorrow night. We'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place, to do it all over again. Full coverage at Inforum.com and WDAY. We'll be with you all day to get you ready for the Summit League Tournament Championship. The women's game starts with South Dakota State and Omaha at 1 o'clock here in Sioux Falls. For Jeff Kolpak, Mike McFeely, I'm Dom Izzo. It's the Bison Video Blog at the Summit League Basketball Tournament.